It's Friday, November the 11th, 2016, and this is your Barbados Today Evening Update. I'm Emmanuel Joseph. Thanks for joining us. We begin with news that environmental and health authorities here have warned government of the risk of an outbreak of food, vector, and waterborne diseases in the River Bus Terminal. Minister of Transport and Works Michael Lashley told Parliament this morning that the findings of a study conducted by the Ministries of Health and the Environment describe the conditions in the van stand as deplorable and horrendous, as they recommend urgent steps to stave off a worsening situation. Those findings, those findings reveal inadequacy of space, lack of running water, and provision for wastewater disposal, absence of toilet facilities for food handlers, insufficiency of garbage receptacles. And the comment was made, this is found to be very unacceptable due to insufficiency of garbage cars and poor disposal practices by both food handlers and the traveling public. And that is why it's against this background that we decided let us develop and let us build a terminal. Minister Lashley also disclosed that a new clean transport policy would be presented to Cabinet shortly. He said a draft strategic plan for 2016-2020 has been developed that covers greening and clean transportation. Mentioned in, the, in, 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 in that plan are the key platforms of uh, Barbados' clean transport policy. And these would include improvement in transport planning. Improvement in transport planning. The extension of appropriate road infrastructure that were conducive to, to sustainable transport. Improved traffic management measures. I know for a fact that um, the traffic management uh, section at the ministry, they are engaging and they're looking. Only recently a document was produced. How, how can we mitigate and in, in some instances alleviate some of the traffic conventions or uh, congestion, sorry? particularly uh, in the urban uh, corridor. Meanwhile, Director of Transport at the Transport Authority, Alex Linton, says the vendors in the river bus terminal have now been given until after Christmas to relocate. This follows an announcement in Parliament by Lashley that construction has been delayed until January. A local lecturer in economics and political studies has suggested that Barbados' development was being retarded because citizens don't have a legal right to public information. Delivering another University of the West Indies lecture last night entitled The Pride of Nationhood, Dr. Christina Hines Harrison said this island has plenty of work to do when it comes to the broad issue of accountability, transparency and people's participation. We as people do not have any legal rights to access public information regarding the conduct of this country's business. Barbados still lacks public information legislation. So sometimes you have to kind of beg to get information. I say why you want it. And this really should not be necessary. The public is also unable, unable sorry, to check that officials who serve them are acting as they should. Although there is a pre prevention of corruption bill that was passed by both houses, rather the Prevention of Corruption Act, because it was passed by both houses of Parliament in 2012. It is yet to be proclaimed. This is because there is a commission that has to be established in order for the act to be proclaimed, and it's supposedly too expensive to establish it at this point in time. So we have some wonderful legislation that would allow us to see what the assets of politicians are, and you know, a lot of information, but it has not been proclaimed. The National Conservation Commission is being saddled with a massive monthly water bill because beachgoers are not turning off the taps at the public baths and shower facilities across the island. NCC General Manager Keith Neblett told reporters this morning that there is too much wastage of water at its public facilities. Neblett said that despite the introduction of control systems, they are not working out due to a lack of public cooperation. To the extent that where we had three of them at some sites, we reduce it to one. Um, but it's still a problem. We still have an advantage. I don't think some in Barbados are still conscious in terms of your water scarce country. They go to the facilities. They take no heed in terms of what is happening around the island. Where some people in other um, parishes are not getting water, but yet you go down Brandon's Enterprise, Browns Beach. 
and you go there and see people running the water continuously. It just shows that they are not taking heed of what is really seriously happening to us in terms of our water. Neble also disclosed that the 18 garbage skips placed at the same beaches are being used to dump dead animals. We prefer that than to put it in the gullies, but then it's becoming overwhelming because what's happening, people are bringing, you know, dead sheep, cows, head, offals, you know, particularly don't have randoms, it is really problematic. Um, and so you have to just put a little bag of grass, you, know, you made no fuss, but when you get the point you want to put a fridge and a stove and that type of thing, that's problematic. And, uh, and I think everybody has to take some responsibility for the garbage. We at the NCC in terms of our garbage, we do a lot of um, composting. You know, we take a lot of the, the grass that is composted and we put it back into the soil. So we're doing our part in terms of trying to reduce the amount that is going to the uh, landfill. There's regional and international news after this short break. Get your paper, get your paper. Only 225, 220. Who? For what? That's the best still news. I don't read about that from Barbados today since last night. That can only can do. 220, who? The Barbados Today, news you can trust. It's an explosion of music like you've never seen. It's the best of Barbados at 50. It's Digicel Barbados is Music. One night, one stage, three of the best Bajan bands. Square one. Crossfire. All together for the first time at Kensington Oval on November 29 for a once-in-a-lifetime performance. It's hit after hit after hit. It's Barbados is Music. Get ready to celebrate 50 years of independence right through to the best page in Christmas ever with a make it happen loan of up to $50,000 from Republic Bank. Give your home a good old beige and spusa. Buy some new furniture and appliances or take an after holiday trip to visit loved ones over and away. You could also be one of our lucky winners to share in fabulous prizes. Just visit any branch to apply. Go to republicbarbados.com or call us at 227-2700. We're also available via Skype and FaceTime. Special conditions apply. Public Bank, we're the one for you. Welcome back with news from the region now. The Guyana government has approved $42 million to tackle the high percentage of students who are failing mathematics at this year's National Grade 6 Assessments Examination. The Guyana Teachers Union is taking a keen look at how the government is proceeding. The government earlier this year expressed disappointment at the low pass rate by students who wrote mathematics at the National Grade 6 Assessment exams in 2016. There was a decrease in the pass rate last year also. Addressing Thursday's post-Cabinet media briefing, Minister Joseph Harmon said the Education Minister recently presented a report to Cabinet, which includes a seven-point strategy to address the challenges facing students studying mathematics in public schools. The strategy caters for the training of teachers in content and methodology, facilitating fortnightly cluster meetings in all the regions, recruitment of mathematics coordinators and monitors, training of officers and school administrators to supervise the teaching of mathematics, among other things. And on the international scene, U.S. President-elect Donald Trump has said in an interview he is open to leaving intact key parts of President Barack Obama's health care bill. Trump, who has pledged repeatedly to repeal the 2010 law, signaled he was receptive to a compromise after visiting the White House on Thursday. He told the Wall Street Journal he favors keeping two main parts of the bill because he liked them very much. One is on a ban on insurers denying coverage for pre-existing conditions. That's news, but for the very latest, visit our website at www.barbadastoday.bb. Also subscribe to our e-paper email updates and like us on Facebook. 
We are also on Izumi Media in bus terminals or screenplay at supermarkets and gas stations near you, as well as Channel 99 on Flow TV and Mix 96.9 FM. I'm Emmanuel Joseph. Have a fantastic day.